I'm here at the Hispanic Cultural Center where there are several different altars that were made by the community. Check these ones out. These ones were made by students at Hawthorne Elementary and those who celebrate this holiday want people to know that it's not a scary holiday, but a time to remember our ancestors. Marigolds, calaveras, and photos of their loved ones. Dia de los Muertos is an annual holiday when families honor and remember those who have died. The spirits of those who have died are able to cross back into the world of the living for a, a, a day of visiting or a few days of visiting, depending on where you are. While the holiday originated in Mexico, several other countries around the world also celebrate it. In the Caribbean, it's in Central America. They have a version of it in Peru, in Colombia. It's all over the place. And it's really about, you know, honoring our ancestors. The holiday brings in practices from both the Catholic and indigenous communities. While the sugar skulls and Katrina makeup make the holiday seem scary, it's everything but that. And where Halloween is about like trick and treats and like kind of being afraid of death, this is about welcoming death and saying like it's all going to happen, we're all going to experience it, so let's have some fun with it. During this holiday, family members generally decorate the graves of their loved ones or create an ofrenda like this one. You can see that this ofrenda, also known as an altar, is very colorful. There's a lot of food, flowers, and photos of loved ones. And people generally place items on these ofrendas that their family members enjoyed. What I love in particular about this, this beautiful Mexican celebration is that it really opens up an opportunity for us to, for us to be in dialogue about about the reality of life and death, and not only as adults, but also with children. A holiday that those who celebrate it say is a time for love, family, culture, and remembrance. And this holiday usually runs through November 2nd. Here at the Cultural Center, they will be hosting several different Dia de los Muertos events. Now also happening tonight here at the Cultural Center is Trunk or Treat. That happens until 9 tonight. Stop by, grab yourself some candy, and check out some of these ofrendas. Reporting live in Albuquerque, Marissa Armas, KOAT Action 7 News.